Have you ever wondered which country has the most advanced aircraft carrier in the world? Is it China with its newly developed Type 003 Fujian, or is it the United States with its USS Gerald R. Ford? What are the differences between these two carriers and which one would win in a head-to-head -head comparison? In this article, we'll delve into the details of these two impressive vessels and examine their capabilities, strengths, and weaknesses. So buckle up and get ready to discover which country would come out on top in an aircraft carrier battle. Over the past two decades, China has invested heavily in developing its military capabilities to compete with the United States. This has been part of the country's larger strategic plan to assert itself as a global superpower. One of China's key goals in this endeavor has been to develop a fleet of aircraft carriers that can rival those of the United States. China's first aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, was purchased from Ukraine and refitted for Chinese service. It was commissioned in 2012 and was followed by the launch of China's first domestically built carrier, the Type 001A Shandong, in 2019. However, the Type 003 Fujian is a significant step forward for China, as it's the country's first wholly indigenous and independently designed carrier. The vessel was launched in June 2022 and is expected to enter service in the next few years. The Type 003 Fujian is larger and more advanced than China's previous carriers, with a displacement of around 80,000 tons and an air wing of up to 50 aircraft. It's equipped with advanced systems, including a new electromagnetic catapult launch system, which allows it to launch aircraft more quickly and efficiently. Overall, China's investment in its military capabilities, and particularly in its aircraft carriers, represents a significant challenge to U.S. military dominance in the Asia-Pacific region. As China continues to develop and refine its capabilities, it's likely that the balance of power in the region will continue to shift in the coming years. The Chinese Type 003 Fujian aircraft carrier is a testament to Chinese innovative and technological prowess. It's a remarkable achievement for the Chinese Navy as it is the first carrier that's entirely indigenous and independently designed. Unlike its predecessor, the Liaoning, which was a Soviet-built Kuznetsov-class aircraft carrier, the Fujian relies on Chinese technology and design. This aircraft carrier boasts a cutting-edge propulsion system, a modernized combat system, and advanced radar and electronic warfare capabilities. The Fujian represents a significant step forward for China's naval capabilities and its ability to project power in the region. In comparison, the USS Gerald R. Ford is the pinnacle of American shipbuilding efforts. With new technologies like electromagnetic aircraft launch systems, or EMALs, the Advanced Arrest gear or AAG, dual band radar, and new nuclear reactors, among almost 50 other new technological developments, the Ford is the most advanced aircraft carrier the United States has ever put to sea. In terms of size, the Ford is slightly larger than the Fujian. The Ford is 1,092 feet in length overall compared to the Fujian's 1,050 feet, and it has a greater beam of 252 feet compared to the Fujian's 240 feet. The Ford also displaces about 100,000 tons when fully combat loaded, which is about 20,000 tons more than the Fujian. While the extra weight might seem like a disadvantage in terms of speed, the Ford has a distinct advantage over the Fujian when it comes to engineering. The Ford, like every other carrier in the U.S. fleet, is powered by nuclear reactors. The A-1B nuclear reactors on board the Ford are engineered to be the most efficient nuclear reactors the Navy has ever fielded, producing a huge amount of energy. This allows the Ford to be propelled at a minimum of 30 knots, and power the electrical load for the entire ship while doing so. In contrast, the Fujian is equipped with eight boilers and four steam turbines. Though these supercharged boilers can propel the Fujian at an impressive 30 knots, conventional plants cannot compare to nuclear reactors. Nuclear reactors produce much more energy than traditional engineering systems could ever make and they have the advantage of unlimited endurance. Overall, while the Fujian represents a significant step forward for China's naval capabilities, it would be at a disadvantage in a head-to-head -head fight against the USS Gerald R. Ford. The Ford's advanced technology, particularly its nuclear reactors, would give it a significant advantage over the Fujian. What do you think about the future of aircraft technology and the role it will play in shaping the balance of power between nations? Do you believe China's investments in aircraft carriers will allow it to challenge the U.S. Navy's dominance in the Pacific? Or do you think the U.S. Navy will maintain its position as the world's premier naval power for the foreseeable future? 
Share your thoughts in the comments below.